Hey, what up? Um, good morning. I rec- I've been chatting a lot recently with Null Inquisitor, talking about all kinds of stuff. And uh, there is something interesting that that stroked me <clears throat> in the in the chat, and we we haven't uh, we didn't explored it much. And uh, I wanna I wanna give it a shot here. I will I will call it the distinction between uh, in RPGs the distinction between discovering and creating in terms of uh, gameplay experience and um, and a player you know uh, the, the, the difference between I always have a problem with this the difference between GM uh, creating everything and uh, you know full collaboration, where the, the players creates and PCs and the player creates cities and histories and intrigue, versus uh, player just reacting to the GM's uh, stuff. So this is a spectrum that I've discussed in the past. Nothing new here. It's just. It's, it's been on my mind though since I started to play collaborative games, you know, where you, um, when you have this, as a player, when you have this responsibility of coming up with stuff, coming up with intrigues, twists, plots, and pieces and stuff, and and the experience that comes out of that, versus where you react to the the GM's prep and story and um, and, it, and and there and there is a, a lot to be said about that distinction I remember you know in the past uh, when I was playing last year when I was playing traveler with Gutnog and Swamper and Shauner and uh, Bash one night I, I, in that game it wasn't it, it was an experiment there was a lot of stuff I was experimenting with it and mostly uh, I was trying to run this really traditional game, Traveler Mongoose. This really traditional game, old school. I mean, I was trying to run it uh, full collaborative, you know, like where I wanted, uh, I, I allowed the players to create NPCs, I allowed the player to create histories, places, stuff. And they were, they, they were, you know, able to create stuff on the fly, like picking up something on the ground that you know uh, that they, they need it they need it right now they pick it up and they use it you know like I remember a swamper creating a dumpster in an alley to hide in it you know stuff like that and I was allowing them lots 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 of range to do so and it was the experiment I was like do it and one night in a post game chat post session chat Gotnog told me I don't know about this you know I, I I don't want to know everything. You know, he said that clearly to me. He said, I don't want to know everything. And it sticked till today. I mean, it's still in my head. I remember perfectly. And I, and I know exactly what he's talking about. You know, I remember and I knew it back then as well. And I was like, yeah, man, you know, I know, I feel you. Because when you play under a GM, you are discovering. This is what I'm talking about here. You are discovering stuff. And the uh, Null Inquisitor told me that his group, they tried both ends of the spectrum and they, you know, they... They prefer discovering what Null Inquisitor has prepared for them. They, 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 they prefer not to know everything. And this is huge. This is, I mean, this is huge. And I'm not gonna go in the reason why, you know, one would prefer one over the other. That's not, and it's not about, this video is not about that, and it's not about the reason why, and it's not about uh, uh, who's, what's better. You know, it's, it's not, it, none is better. It's, it's different experience, completely different experience. Different experience. So. When Gottnag told that to me, he said, I don't want to know everything. 
you know, I don't want to be able to, you know, solve everything on my own just by creating the stuff I need and just, you know, and it, so, so basically that's what it is. It's the distinction between these two, this approach, these two approaches of gaming, these two a completely different experience lies in, for me, lies into these, these core concepts. Either you want to go blind and discover, discover the mysteries, discover the world, discover the intrigue, discover stuff. So your fun lies there, you know. Or you want to, or you want to create the things. And uh, and and just and now I have this 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 feeling of uh, completeness, this feeling of uh, of fr you're proud of what you created, you you know this um, satisfaction of creating the things that you play in, you know. And then when the game is over, everybody goes and like, ah oh, man, we we are ta you know telling a really good stories, you know. I like this idea of yours and you know, stuff like that. You know that that, that 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 satisfaction of collaboration. So it's two different kind of experience. Now, non inquisitor said in the chat, the player wants to be surprised because when you there, there is a strange feeling that definitely there is a strange feeling that comes with. Full collaboration, creative, creative uh, gaming, where uh, everybody creates stuff. The players and the GM, and it's like it's like this this full, you know, co-op world where everybody has done something in it and stuff. The, the weird feeling that comes with it, it's a feeling of watered down. Water down intrigue, water down history, water down world because it feels like you know it already. That's why that's why Gottner manifest when he expressed it. He said he said I don't want to know everything. And when you when you when you are in this full collaborative mode, everybody knows everything because everybody created it. And then and, and that's that's a fact. And that goes for a really different experience. It's not that, I mean, it, it has this weird, as much as I like it, it still have this little, little bit of watered down. It's a little bit watered down because it's like we, we are, um, we are creating it as we play it. So we kind of know in advance a little bit what's gonna happen and the stuff. But at the same time, you don't. When you are under a GM, you don't know shit. You go, you play, as a player, you play, and the GM unfold the whole thing for you. This is what I prepared and stuff, and you know, you go on the rail and bang. When you, when you are in this more collaborative uh, games, Everybody contributes to the rails. Everybody contributes to the story and what's gonna happen and stuff. So it's a little bit like you script together almost in advance what's gonna happen because you need some. Most of these games, you, it's by design. You talk about it before starting to play. You talk about it after you played, and you organize the experience because you know some of the stuff comes in the play with the dice rolling, but. Most of it, you know, it happens before a little bit. You script it a little bit before and you go for it after unfolding it. So it's, there's always a little bit of discussion about it together, making it transparent. That's the word. The collaborative games where you, the player create the plot, the intrigue, the story, as well as with the GM and everybody together. It goes for a transparent experience. That's what I mean by watered down. 
and uh, and that's not for everybody, you know. A lot of people they 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 don't want to play in our they, they don't want that in their their experience. They want to they want to be in the dark, and they want to feel like they they are acting against something kind of thing, you know. It, it's like a crunch effect. It it feels good to, you know. And I totally get that, you know. And 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 it's really really two different things. And for me. I would say that there is a lot to say about that spectrum, you know, because you have, you have, let's say here it's like super traditional GM uh, powered game and here is full collaborative, uh, almost GM less games. And you have the games that are designed like that, you know, by design they are meant to be played like that. And then you have the way the social contract, the way the people play that makes it goes in between like that so for example you can uh, play like like I tried in the past traveler and uh, trying to go full collaborative so you're gonna be somewhere in between and it doesn't really work it's just you go against the systems it's not a good idea but a lot of people that's what they do I mean they the way they play they have a culture of play that makes for the spectrum but by design you have lots of game that are GM powered and you have all kinds of different games in the indie realm that are more designed to be collaborative and then you have a couple of stuff in between some games have special rules you know for that I, I, I think Nan Inquisitor said that there's something about that like in 7C where you have some little rules in the in the mix that, that makes you take the Numenera you can take the narration for a bit and depending on how you play you can make it happen more often and stuff like that so by design you can be more collaborative but so that it, there is a lot to say about that. So yeah, it, it's it's a it's a big ramble. I mean, but uh, it's what do you prefer? You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of experience do you prefer? Do you prefer to go transparent and have the satisfaction of because non Inquisitor said that his group don't like that transparency because they they wanna be surprised, and I'm like, eh. That's that's not my perspective. My perspective is that I am surprised a lot in the transparency because in the collaborative game because I will be surprised by you my friend. What are you going to create? What kind of NPC are you going to bring into the mix? And oh, are you serious with that guy? That guy can't be real. Come on and then ah, and then you play and you have a lot of fun because now you have to deal with that new NPC, that new villain that this guy just created. Or you get a you get a you get a react to what this guy on and then some nights some guy come to the table and play and he's like full of ideas and some other night you know people are just a little lazy they don't have much ideas and it's, yeah. so so there's a lot to be surprised I don't I, you know I understand that with the GM powered game there might be more surprises but it's different kind of surprise I would say that you know I don't want to be uh, I don't want to be cheap but uh, I would say that it's really different kind of surprises but yeah man it's uh it, for me, it's a it's it's a plague. You know, it's a plague. It's a it's a big. It's different choices. You, it's not it's not easy to to make your mind about which one you prefer. And it's about it's about how you feel at the moment and with the people you play. You know, some people are so just they they, they have no creativity at all. You know, they have no ideas. So, they, you you they need a GM. And when you play with these guys, play a GM power game. You know, you know, don't go for a, but people that have lots of ideas all the time. Like. Go for go for collaborative. Maybe that's that's gonna be uh, interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching. That was a, a ramble video, but uh, I had to I had to express this this difficulty sometimes we have to make make our minds about the way we like to play. All right, thank you very much. Uh, talk to you soon.